<laughs> hey! Uh, hold it down. Who doesn't want to be a princess of this land? I <laughs> married that old man. Hey! <laughs> oh my god. We are Igbos, and Igbo land is a place full of culture and tradition, a place full of laughter and love. We love our gods and our gods love us. We worship them and they protect us. Our part of Igbo land is a little different from others though. The kingship is hereditary and a daughter can succeed her father on the throne until a son be born to her if the father does not have a son. Our lives have always been beautiful until a few moons ago when everything began to go wrong and the gods we had hitherto loved decided to become our enemies. The traditions we had always in upheld now turned their backs on us. Your Highness, permit me to speak. There is nothing you can say that has not been already said. Atessa is my only child. Your only daughter. Yes. The one privileged to sit on this throne. The only woman who would have been privileged in our history. Yet she sits in the groove of Amadioha, where she's treated like a madwoman by her own father. Woman. Do you think it is easy to sit on that throne and watch my daughter go through all that she is going through? Your Highness, you are the Eze. You are the custodian of our customs and traditions. You can change the whole situation with a mere word. Mm. As custodian of our customs and tradition, I will be the one to, 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 to defile the laws of our gods. Have you for one moment stopped to think what, how you would, you, you, you would feel if all these were happening to someone else and not us? I don't care about other people. I do not care for Adese. Let me tell you something. I am first of all a woman and I have a mother's love in my heart. What do you want me to do? Just tell me. Look, Adese made the kind of mistake any girl her age could have made. She is not any other girl her age. She is the heiress to this throne. And what she has done is sacrilege, punishable by death. The only thing that can save her is for her to mention the name of the man who defiled her so that his life can be taken to the place has but she won't talk a daisy won't talk they want to bend me and make me mad I will not accept what I am not. Why would it hurt you? What wrong have you done? Why punish you for a crime I committed? Adeze will not deny that whom she professes to love. No! Either will I allow them to take you away from me. I will not speak. I will not name him. Kill me if you please. I won't! You did nothing wrong. I will protect you. I must protect you. Yes, I will. 
Adelze will not talk. I will not. No! I will not. Oh! Where are you? Yes. It's me, it's me. You want to finish what you started? You want to finish what you started? That's me. Go on. Tell them. Tell them Adelze will not die without a fight. A bitter fight! I will fight! One. Come! Adelze will fight! She will fight till the end! I hear you! I hear you! Don't! Kill me! Kill me! To you. They want to kill you. They will kill you if they find out it's you. I know, but I don't care. Yes, all that matters to me is you. I want to be sure you are alive. And the baby. I'd rather die than let him touch my child. Uzama, someone might come in here any moment. So hurry up! I refuse to tell them anything. They say I'm mad. Oh. You are not mad. My love, don't listen to that rubbish. You are not mad. What are we going to do? My love, I have come to take you. Yes, we will run. We run to another village. Me, you, and our child. Yes, I will protect you. I will provide for you. My hands are strong. I will work. Yes. Uzoma, I said it. Someone is coming. Huh? Uzoma, I said it. Someone is coming. Hurry up! What does it look like I'm doing? Huh? of the gods. Chief Priest!
Yohannes! I do not know why the gods have chosen me to deliver such news, Your Highness. I would rather they had taken my life, Your Highness. What was that that just came out of your mouth? Your Highness, it is the chief priest. Mm -hmm. It is what Your Highness. Mm -hmm. Somebody has killed him. What? He's lying in front of the shrine. His stomach split open. The princess. Huh? The princess is no longer there, Your Highness. Hey! Darkness has fallen over us at high noon. Leave her! Now get some trackers and hunters. Search for my daughter. Track her down and bring her back here to me. Go! We'll find her. Oh yes, we'll bring her back alive. Oh yes. I'm sorry about that. Huh? I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. What? 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 Where is there to go? Adesa is the SS daughter. And by now, everybody everywhere would have known what has happened. Where can we hide? Or will you live in this forest forever? Well, I've heard of great cities in the West. As the sun sets, we will go. Do not fool yourself, my friend. You will not get out from this forest before they find you. That is if they have nothing they're looking for us. They would see you leave from me. So, yes, no me. Let us turn and go back. This is exactly what I hate. Focus! Abba, look at me, look at me, look at me! Focus! Focus! We have not only abducted, we have killed the chief priest. And the only thing that awaits us is death! We cannot go back now. We have just one option. Follow it. Uzama, I did not abduct a desert. Neither am I the person that killed the bottle. You did! Well, you were there. So you were part of this. Oh. I'm not your man. Why did you allow myself to get involved in this foolishness? Abadi, the earlier we start moving, the better. The more you stand here arguing, the closer they are getting to us. Please, let's go and look for a safe place before nightfall. Then we can continue. Please.
are sealed on this matter. You know what the tradition and culture of our kingdom says? That until the perpetrators of this act are found and dealt with, the chief priest cannot be buried. to kill the eyes and voice of the gods was they prepared to lose their head. No ears. He hears this until the head is secured. Emissaries must be sent to Umbulunta to invite Abagana, the chief priest of their Amadioha, to help us perform the sacrifices that will quieten the gods until we are able to find the perpetrators of this heinous crime and deal with them decisively. It must be done tonight. We cannot wait a, a, a moment longer. This body cannot be preserved until all the ceremonies have been performed. If we do not start the preservation in time, this palace will not be livable. I have already sent out hunters and trackers to hunt down the people who have abducted my daughter and killed the chief priest. Is it so? Your Highness. I want you to take uh, some men with you. Go to the houses and find out those who, who are not in their houses and where they have been to. Yes, Your Highness. Something tells me that this calamity that has befallen us is not from without, but within. Your Highness, we should also send a message to the Yezes of our neighbors if they find any strange people that are not of their clan, they should inform us. Good, good. Now you, you see to so see to it. Send out the messages. Uh, do we tell them why they should seize them? No, I don't think we want to do that. I think it is enough for us to let them know that we are after our own people who are running from justice. <coughs> Why it that I did not see this day? We will make it. I know. My love, look at me. I love you. And I will not let anything happen to you. See if I can get a rabbit for oh, sweet. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hey.
they're here. And they cannot be found now. They do not know anybody's coming after them. We we'll rest here this night and continue in the morning. Night is the best time to track down animals. We have to continue. Yes. yes. No. We should stop. We we'll continue before the dawn. By then they will not be alive. I think he's right. I told you to watch over hand. Is this how you do it? Huh? If it were those who might be looking for us, you would have been dead by now. And she a prisoner. I'm so sorry. I was very tired. And you left an open fire to tell everyone where we are. Huh? She was very cold. My princess. What do you want? My princess. I, uh, I, I went to ch check my traps and I caught this. I, I know it's not up to the fare you are given in the palace, but I just want to give it to you in appreciation In appreciation of what? Of... In a... Oh. Forgive me, my princess. Uh, courage fails me. I just want to let you know that you are the most beautiful, beautiful creature I have ever seen. I'm not a creature. My name is Adese. Forgive me. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean it that way. Thank you. Senses. That is the only thing we've got in three days. I just gave away. She touched me. Hi. Abadi. The princess touched Uzoma, me. I am talking to you. Any sense of this? 
Any sense in what, Ujo? In collecting this grass cutter from the boy. I mean, what will you do with it? He needs it more than you do. Tell me, Ujo. Have you ever given me anything? Anything at all? No, my princess. Well, apart from my father, this is the first time anyone is giving me something. And he also said I'm beautiful. <laughs> that you are, my princess. So tell me, I pray thee, why shouldn't I accept his gift? Okay. When we get to the palace, ask them to cook it for me. Yes, my princess. Why are you smiling? Just remembering the first day I met you. And you gave me a rabbit? Yes. You were, you were so beautiful. And now? Oh, my love. You are still beautiful. <laughs> yes. If I knew it would lead to our being hunted like, like animals, wild animals. I wouldn't have stopped. Zoma, I have no regrets at all. Being here with you in your arms is more important to me than anything the world has to offer. Where you are is where I'd rather be. Can I ask? Mm -hmm. What what did you do with the rabbit? <laughs> what did you do with rabbits? Huh? I ate it of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. What? My well, love. Are you right? oh, yes, I'm 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 fine. Just the sharp pain. Don't make me laugh again. <laughs> All right. All right, I won't. You're fine now. You have come because my brother priest lies dead from the hands of a fear neophyte who had desecrated the land. We do not understand the mysteries and secrets of the gods are not to be understood. They are to be accepted. The one who took Nkwato's life is the same who should take his place now that he's gone as the priest of Amadeoha in his stead. Uh -uh. Nkwato did not name a successor. Because the gods have not revealed him yet. And he did not know his time was near. Then what do we do? Apakoro pankoro, apakoro pankoro, udume o gene, onyo malo, iyaga, 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 iya. The gods are playing Akpankoro with we mere mortals. The cleansing of blood will be done. But how who can take the life of a priest designate without destroying the village? And how can the priest designate and the a designate mate? I Abagana is lost in this matter. I see the solution. Tears 
and gnashing of teeth for the land. Tell your highness that I will come, but not to offer any sacrifices, but to make entreaties to the gods, because the sacrilege committed in your land is such that that has never been heard of before under the sun. Sadly, we cannot. We just have to start going. Did you sleep? Mm. <laughs> you are beautiful, even in the morning. <laughs> you say very nice things. Because <laughs> that's what you are. A sweet thing. person. Person. <laughs> Let's clean up and start going. Since we've not heard anything, I guess nobody is following.
I only have one question to ask. Who has done all this? One man. The same that made the princess pregnant. The same that abducted her. The same that killed him bottle. The same that she will sit in Uncle's place now that he's gone to mediate to the land before the gods. And the same that should carry out sacrifices to cleanse the land. Who is this? Every family in this kingdom has been accounted for. Talk to you. Speak. Um, um I I know the man that that got the princess pregnant. I was there the night it happened. Highness. I Princess, here in my arms. No, no. I'm first a woman before a princess. The heart of a woman is very deep. And my love runs even deeper. Oh, you just don't understand. I, I, I can't think without you. I can't breathe unless it's your name I breathe. <laughs> the whole world just seems to stand still when you're not there. I... I'm just scared. I'm scared that someday you just may decide you, you don't want to see me again. Oh. I'll never make such a decision. Thank you. 
I did everything to, to stop her, but she was like a woman smitten. She would not hear my entreaties. I told her that what she was getting involved in will only bring pain and a lot of trouble. But her ears were, were, were blocked to my words, Your Highness. This is not good enough. Do you want me to go and see Uzoma looking like a witch? I want a bead on my hair. Bead on my hair. This is too ordinary. He won't like this. My princess, you told your mother we are going to see your grandmother. Well, in the evening, the rest of my day, I spend with Uzoma. What if Her Highness finds out? Who will tell my mother? You? Oh, beads. Would you beads? Oh, I have lots of them. Get them out and put me beads on my hair. My princess, I am not in the position to advise. But this thing between you and, and that hunter boy is not right. Your parents will not approve of it. I don't care if my parents approve of it or not. It is my life, not theirs. My heart, not theirs. I do not care if Uzoma is a hunter or a gatherer. <sighs> sit, Uju. Please sit. Sit. <sighs> Uju. You cannot imagine what it's like to be held in those arms. You can't imagine how I feel hearing his heartbeat in his chest. Which you can never imagine the strength in his arms. Have you ever heard the words he whispers into my ears? Those words set my soul ablaze. Love is never wrong. And that is what I feel. That is what I feel, Uju. I love him. I love Uzoma so much. I do. The beads. Look for them. Where is it? This one is good. No, no. to the winds. What if someone has seen you? Well, that will be the person's problem. What can get to the Eze, you know? My father cannot marry me. Neither will Uzoma marry you. Then I will not get married. <sighs> Listen, you are ascending the throne after your father. Your husband has to be chosen from the best stock. One that will father kings. Uzoma is the best stock there is. Now I do not care which family he's from. He's the king of my heart. My bones tell me he's the right person. It's either Uzoma or no other man. This is, this, this is foolishness. I demand respect, Uju. Call it what you may. I am only following my bliss. And that surely cannot be foolishness. <sighs> to the palace. Come on, to the palace. Come on, Uju. What did you come to me? Why didn't you tell me all this? Who am I to, to report the princess, your highness? 
I'm but a mess, I want. <laughs> My dear, <laughs> what have we done? to wait for Mba Amalu and Ajakaja before we continue? No. An old woman who had a boil on her on her buttocks had an itch. Unfortunately for her, her hands have become so stiff that they cannot reach the boil to scratch the itch. So, what happens to her? The old woman. Is she allowed to itch to death? No. No, Your Highness. No. Someone has to scratch the itch for her. Mm. I will call out all the young men of our land and we shall search. Search the Egbelu forest. Search until we find the princess and her abductor. And if any community has been harboring, harboring them, then the might of Opalo, they will feel. Who's she? Your Highness. Sound the Ikoro. Summon the warriors. Woman, you should know better than to walk in here when elders are deliberating on the matters of state. Your Highness, is it not my daughter you're deliberating about? Well, I'll just forget this hasn't happened this time. But if you do it again... What? You send your guards to cut off my head from my shoulders? That would be fine. I mean, nothing could be worse than what has happened this past uh -huh. few days. I have news that would help. What information? What? Well, why wasn't I told all this? Why did you allow us to go through all this? I only got the information a few moments ago. Ubiaja. Yes, sir. Go to Mbadiki's house and bring his son. You will not find him. Go all the same. And if you do not find him, bring Mbadike. He gets back! What has somebody case so got to do with this? We shall find out. Your Highness. Thank you. 
you bring greetings to me, yet you come to my house with warriors. What have I done? Not you, but your son. We have been looking for him. Where has he gone? He has gone to visit his grandmother. When? Why are you asking? Because the Eze asked me to bring him. He has gone to visit his grandmother. He's not around now. What has he done? We don't know yet. But whatever it is, is very grave indeed. He said, if I don't find your son, I should bring you alive. Well, go and tell the Eze that I am on my way. And so, what happened? Your, your Highness, there were two of them and the princess. One of them and the princess got away. Who oh, shot this one, oh, unfortunately, Your Highness? to do with this your highness he left the house two days ago with a keg of pan wine to visit his mother's people He is not guilty. It's only but a sacrifice for the one chosen by the gods of the land and condemned by the tradition.
Your Highness, I was told that you summoned me. Yes, Madiki, indeed. You are the man I've always respected as warrior and the good man that you've always been. Thank you. I am going to tell you something that must not leave the confines of this palace. No ear must hear this outside until everything is resolved and the right things done. The chief priest of Amadeha, Nkwatu, is dead. knife was plunged into his stomach and his blood the blood of the gods was spilled in front of their shrine into the ground of this land your highness tell me who is responsible for this in your stomach and i swear by the blood that have spilled and upon the blood of the high priest Whoever is responsible for this heinous act, his head must not remain on his shoulders by sundown. Medicate. Your Highness. Don't be too much in a hurry to take this oath. For the hand of your son committed the act. In fact, he not only killed the chief priest, but he is responsible for the princess's pregnancy. And right now, he has abducted her from the shrine. His hands has brought untold abomination and the ferocious anger of the gods upon this land. A curse. We are not sure if it will ever be lifted from over us. Mbadike, let me acquaint you with the gravity of this situation. For desecrating this sacred stool, the princess, my daughter, my only child, the heiress to this throne, stands to be killed. For that not to happen is for the man who defiled her to give his life for her. For taking the life of the chief priest, he not only has to give his own life, but that of his entire lineage to be used for sacrifice. Then, the gods say that uh, we cannot sacrifice your son because he has been chosen to keep the secrets of Amadioha by becoming the priest after Mbatu. And uh, for the new priest to assume his responsibilities, Mbatu mm. must be buried. 
if after seven days he is not buried, then the gods will march on the land and take the life of every single first male child in our land. Your son has abducted the princess and then they are nowhere to be found. But okay, yeah, one day has gone. We've got only six days left. But okay, yeah, what should an old man do? Because of this food that you're running like this, it won't work, oh, because they did not call your name when they brought this food for me to eat. You think I'm a porcupine like you? Eh? Look. Abadi. I came to tell you that I... I just saw the goddess of the rivers. Huh? You saw what? Yes. I saw the goddess of the rivers. Uzoma, what is this nonsense that you're spouting now? It's your mouth that is spouting nonsense. Okay. Tell me that thing you've seen. What? Good. Look, I went to check my traps mm -hmm. close to the Umoji River. Mm. Yes, then I saw her. I saw the princess having a bath. I, I saw her. Osama, you saw the princess having a bath? Shh, shh. Hey. Did you bring that? Mm -hmm. Shh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring, bring it down. Bring, mm. bring your voice down. You mean you saw everything that makes her a woman? Yes. Yes, I. I saw. I saw everything. Amadioa. She. She is so. 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 So beautiful. My. My. My head is spinning. My. My head is spinning. Hey. 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 So why are you telling me this now? 
You have gone to see by yourself. What do you expect me to do? To start dancing in pockets, eh? eh? Why didn't you call me so that I would go with you and see by myself? Abadi, huh? I have seen my wife. More? Yes. Udogu? Huh? I know it. Immediately I saw her taking off her wrap. I knew. I knew I just had to have her in my arms. I knew it. <laughs> Uzama, are you talking from the tugging of your loins or from the echo in your empty skull? Hi. Abadi, she will be my wife. More. You sit. Odogu. You will sit, Abadi. She will be my wife. Look. Can you see? As long as I can feel the sand in my hands, mm. I am sure she will be my wife. I want to know where a hunter has ever been accepted to marry a daughter of a king. Ozoma, the Eze will cut off your head from your neck. And that thing that is dangling in between your loins for even daring to dream about such a thing. Well, I'm not just a hunter. I am a warrior. Your father is a warrior, not you. Well, I will be. Huh? Yes. I will do great and mighty things. I will prove myself in battle so much that the Eze will have no other option but to give me the princess to marry. Okome. Um, Ozama. When you wake up, you tell me. But as for now, Abadi wants to eat. One word. If you want your head removed, it will not include mine. So, shit. If you want to say anything, wait till I am far, far away from you. No, no, What's the matter with you? Nothing. Just protecting a fool. <sighs> Look, I don't need your protection. All I wanted to do was to greet her. And your loss had made you forget what the tradition says about we not greeting any member of the royal household except the first see you. Ah, buddy, it's not loss. It's love. Besides, she looked at me, didn't you see? She, she glanced at me. In your dreams, eh? Osama? In your dreams. Because she, she looked at me, not you. I was the one she was looking at, not you. Didn't you see her? Ozama, let's go. Do, do, do. Let's go. Go. No. Go. No, we'll go together. We'll move together. I said. Ozama. Have you considered what will likely happen if someone sees both of you together and reports to the Eze? Well, that will be the person's problem, not mine. Not something I should worry myself about. I have told you so many times. Finally, it will not be about breaking your head. It will be about cutting it off. <sighs> that girl is the princess, the Eze's daughter. The one that will sit on the throne after him. Ozama, what you're getting yourself involved in is forbidden. <sighs> Abadi. Abadi. Abadi, you just don't get it. Abadi. Abadi, I love her. I, I love... Wait. Abadi. Abadi, she, she's the air that I breathe. The life that I live. She's, she's everything good and noble. How do you say? Her touch gives warmth to the sun. The tenderness in her eyes is what removes the chill of the hammer tan. Oh, I love her. Abadi, Abadi, I love her. And I don't see anything forbidden about that. Neither will the Eze marry his daughter. Abadi. If she is to be married to any man, that man will be me. Ozama, there are so many women upon the face of the earth. Like the sand on the shores of Umungene River. Take one of them and leave her alone. She, she can only bring you trouble and heartache. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, my dear friend, heartache I can handle. And as for trouble, 
I will look it in the face and laugh. <laughs> Abadi, I have found the reason why my heart beats in my chest. And I will follow that heartbeat. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Uzama, huh? don't say that again. Okay? Yeah. Uh. 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 Don't say that <laughs> too much. Your sister will be okay. My mother knows about these things. She's very beautiful. Your sister. She's not my sister. She's the princess of Obula Kingdom. Mama, do you want to help us? What were you doing in the Forbidden Forest? We're running away. From what? From the condemnation and justice of man and the wickedness of the gods. The gods? Yes. <laughs> Look, hey, don't, don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Listen, listen. Nobody must know that we are here. Promise me. <laughs> And you'll also tell your mother, nobody must know that we are here, because if they find us, they will kill us. What is to say they are not kill us if they find you? Mama, you are safe. You, you, don't panic. It's me they are after. And the princess, you are safe. Now, if I'm to help you, tell me what you did. The princess is pregnant for me. It is sacrilege. I was supposed to be killed because I desecrated the sacred stool since she was supposed to take over from the Eze when he goes to join his ancestors. She refused to name me as responsible for her pregnancy, meaning that she would be killed. But I couldn't let that happen. I just couldn't let that happen. So I abducted her, and in the process, I... I killed the chief priest of... Killed who? You did what? Yes. Mama, they killed my friend. My best friend who was trying to help us escape, and... If they find us, they will kill us too. Mama, I cannot let that happen. I can't let that happen. I love her. I love her with all my life. Everything I have, Mama, please. Please. It's okay. My hands are clean in this matter. My son, I will help you. All I'm trying to do is to help a pregnant woman. Let the gods bear me witness. Thank you, Mama. Mama, I thank you. I thank you. Get up. The gods will bless you. Get up, it's okay. Mama, how is she? She is better. She almost lost the baby. Huh? Yes. But she's better. She's sleeping when she wakes up, you see. Eh? Ugo? Yes, ma'am. Go and prepare something for him. He must be very hungry now. What? Okay, mama.
the matter? What is the problem? You cannot place a riddle before the land that only you can solve. And then stay silent while your subjects die. Nay, while you take their lives. Speak, you rulers of the invisible realm. Speak and save us from the chains that bind. Speak, if you are gods, speak. Or a bargain afraid of you. Is gone and the gods stay silent. What shall be of us? What shall be of us? My daughter lies I know not where and you sit here and talk about days gone by. My dear, the life of the land is bigger than the life of one, whether that one happens to be your daughter or not. Your Highness, do not for one moment entertain the idea that I do not love this land, because I do. But I am first of all a mother, and the blood of a mother flows through my veins. I want you to find my daughter and bring her back. Just bring back my daughter. My dear, even if their hunters and trackers are able to find the princess and bring her here, she faces certain death. And there is nothing you, I, or anyone can do about it. Why? Why, why, why is this happening? <sighs> Dear wife, the gods stay silent. I'm in danger of losing my daughter. That is if I haven't already lost her. <gasps> my lineage has come to an end. And there is no one to succeed me on this throne. <laughs> hmm. The body of the chief priest of Amadioha lies in my palace. And in five days, I shall lose all the first-born boys of this land, including myself. <laughs> yes, I was my father's first son. to do. We are safe now. 
just get your strength back and we'll go to the cities in the west as the sun sets. I need you to make a promise to me. Whatever it is, my love. Promise that you'll never leave me. You'll never leave my side. My love, I swear it today. I will never leave your side. I'll always be there for you. I'll always be there to protect you and keep you safe. Sleep. Rest and get your strength back. Can I help? It's a woman's job. <laughs> ah, a woman's job indeed. You know, I used to help my mother with this when I had nothing to do. <laughs> See? I'm even faster than you are. <laughs> How is she? Oh, well, she is smiling again. <laughs> and that's a good sign. What's left right now is for her to regain her strength. See? I told you my mother was good at such things. Yes. And you know, I just can't thank her enough. I love her very much. I see it in your eyes when you look at her. And when you talk about her. I wish... I wish I can find someone, somewhere, someday, who can love me this much. Sorry, sorry, my princess. Stop calling me that. I can't stop. That's what you are, I my am, princess. I am a daisy to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder how you manage. I wonder how you do it. You seem to have my heart in your hand. There's nothing I can do to hold back. I can't do anything without you. Neither can I, my love. What do you think your father will say? I don't know. Hmm? I haven't thought about it yet. Mm. For now, I just want to spend the rest of my life in your arms. Ah. <laughs> That's just what I want. <laughs>
Don't worry, my dear. If you have love in your heart, you will always find love in your life. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going out. To where? You don't know anywhere around here. Don't worry. I know the forest. I want to see if I can catch something for your mother to make some food with. Just be careful. The forests are not safe. Four days to go and nothing. In four days time, some of you elders here will be dead, taken by the hands of the gods. In four days, our land will become a devastated waste. <laughs> here we are. Sitting, not knowing what to do. <clears throat> Your Highness, I have buried my son. What part he played in this matter, Your Highness, I, I do not know. But I know that he wouldn't die in vain. I suggest we get seven heads of cattle. Call our bargain. Let him sacrifice to the gods. Let the gods speak to us. Let them tell us what we have to do. We are a land without a priest. And if we continue staring at the sunset and sunrise, we will be a land without a king and the elders very soon. Good words. We will do that. And that's what we can do for now. We will do that. Mm, for now. Your Highness, I also say Badike takes a team of warriors to scout the land. Hey, after all, the boy is his son. If anybody can find him, he can. And you trust that after finding the boy, being his son, he would bring him back to this land? Of course. He's under an oath. A blood oath he took with the, with the machete of a warrior. Mbadike is a man of honor. refuse a sacrifice. What then do they want? We have done everything they've asked us to do. The anger of the gods cannot be appeased by the sacrifices you bring. The line of the priest and the kings cannot be mixed. The seed of a priest has been planted in the womb of a king. Who can tell what will befall the land? I've made all the entreaties I can. Still, no way. I fear. I truly fear what will happen. Uh, Abagana, we have only four market days to go. Eh? Maybe we'll find a way. What way? Ear of the ants. Tell us Andrew would do everything it takes. The one you seek, the princess, is in this land. She lies sick, as I speak, in the house of Maji, the midwife. That is what 
about Ghana said? Yes, the very words from his mouth, Your Highness. He did not mention anything about the young man. Uh, nothing. The gods are still still silent. Mm. It is an opening in the fabric of our distress. Let us pursue this first. Then we can have another. Mm. Well, summon Mbadiki. Let him get his warriors ready. Now, if the young man is the one who abducted Adizi, then he will not be far from wherever she is. Remember, we have only three days. Here. Nobody knows we're here. I fear. Where is Mama? She went to the farm. Ugona saw some warriors coming into the village. 
are looking for us. Yes. But they can't find us. We are safe here. Nobody knows we are here. We are safe. What if they don't find us? And they don't perform the cleansing sacrifice? What do you think the gods will do to the land? Oh, nothing. The gods won't do anything. The gods are powerless. I said it. Uzoma said it. The gods are powerless. If the gods are as powerful as they make us believe, why couldn't they stop Mot from dying? I mean, I killed him with my own hands. Don't say such words. Everyone knows the gods have been silent for generations. Before they exert their wrath. <sighs> If they want to unleash their wrath on us because I fought to stop them from killing us, they can go ahead. If the only crime we committed is the crime of loving each other, then I spit in their faces. They can do whatever they want. I don't care. I used to preserve the body. We were off the traders time. Then Obuna Bali will start rampage across the land. You will be the first to go. I am not afraid of the nether regions. A man faces death only once, and I am ready to face mine. What I am afraid of is those who will be left behind in the land. What will they think of me? How will I be remembered as the Aze who sat on the throne when the gods destroyed their own. Nobody fully understands their ways. That might not yet happen. Who knows by the time we bring back the princess and we offer her as an appeasement for the defilement of the sacred stool, the gods might yet change their minds. She's all I have got. She is the only one who may carry on my lineage. If she dies, my name dies. If she lives, the land dies off. Choose which one you may. the anger of Obuna Valley. Because of what you have done, your head will be taken from your shoulders. And they have sent you to take it. You, father. I swore an oath to dismember with my hands whoever it was that did this thing. I turned around and find out that 
it is my son. My only son. So you expect me to go with you like, like a lamb to the slaughter? Huh? You will pay for all your misdeeds. And the princess will pay for hers. Take me, father. And leave the princess. She did not get herself pregnant. I did. She did not kill the chief priest. I also did. Let me pay for my crimes. We make different payments for the different things we buy in the market. You do not replace a manila with a cowrie. I see. Very well then. Badike. If you expect me to go with you like a lamb to the slaughter, then you are making a very big mistake. I love the princess. And I will protect her with my life. Ozoma, for the love of a woman, you raise your arms against the one that gave you life? her up until Amadioha decides what to do with her. There's very little they can do to us now. Or even the land beyond. I'll always be with you. Let him be. He should be beyond physical pain by now. It is his life he will pay with. the spirits lies dead. My daughter, the princess, is about to face death. But now, the head warrior of our land, your father, 
lies dismembered and all by your hands. Oh. Oh. This is indeed a cursed day when the womb opened and spilled you out. Do not lift voice or anger against him. He is chosen of the gods. No man should speak evil of him. Let those who choose him decide what to do with him. And you, what do you have to say for yourself? And who do I answer to? To you who stand in judgment? To the gods who have condemned me already? Or to my heart? Whatever it is, or whoever it is you talk to, you have committed high treason against this land. Yes. And I do not deny it. But it would have also been high treason to my heart if I hadn't followed the love I found in the eyes of the princess. And for that love, you decided to destroy the chief priest, your father, the princess, my daughter, and this land? Your Highness, if we had been left alone, all this wouldn't have happened. If we had been left alone, this land would have been safe. And all those who sought our lives would not now be lying dead. Your Highness, I have one question for you. What have we done wrong, Your Highness? What have we done wrong apart from love? What? <laughs> we have two days. The sacrifices of uh, appeasement will commence at sunrise. Guards, take him into his holdings. Make sure the best of our guards watch him. Don't let anything happen to him. He now belongs to the gods. And the gods don't like uh, their sacrifice with any blemish. Your Highness. Please. I plead to you, Your Highness. The life of the princess. I committed every act. I am the one who deserves to die. Spare her life. And take me, please. Please.
I was told to clean you up before His Highness will see you. Uju, don't cry. Nothing will happen to me. You do not understand. Unless Uzoma agrees to die in your stead, they will kill you. Good shall that be then. For I have no life without him. Gladly will I die for him. And gladly will I join him if he is killed. But to live on this earth without him is death I cannot bear. My princess, love like this, I have never known. Strength like this, I do not pretend to understand. I do not love Uzama with my body. I love him with my heart. I love him with my spirit. We are forged from the same anvil by the gods. You go too. But don't cry for me. Cry for those who deny us the right to leave our bliss. They are the ones deserving of the tears. The princess of Okula Kingdom has fingers this soft. Yes. Oh. Zoma. <laughs> How did you know it was me? Because nobody else has your scent. Or the soft tenderness of your fingers. I never knew you had a scent. <laughs> you do, my dear. You smell like the earth touched by the rain after the dry season. It's a sweet smell that drives the antelope wild and just leaves me reeling like Kabarak with a drunk. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have nectar flowing from your lips. Inspired by the honeybee that I found. <laughs> I came as soon as I got your message. Although Uju didn't want me to go out alone. I told her her ears were not meant to hear the words we whisper to ourselves nor her eyes meant to see the beautiful moments. <laughs> you know, I am but a hunter boy. But I am not afraid to dream. Because it's the dream that is afraid of waking that never sleeps. And the heart afraid of breaking Never takes a chance at love. I am not afraid. And I will take that chance. Because it's the only chance I will get in life. My princess. I want you to be my mother's daughter-in-law. I want you to be the mother of my children. The one whose bosom will soccer me for life. I want you to be the light in my ray, the gurgle in my stream. You need not ask. For before we came together, it was destined. No sweeter word has a man said to a woman. I will stand by you. You will be the strength in my arm, the sway of my hips, 
the sweetness of my breeze. I will be your wife. Mother. Yes. I need to speak to you. Now? Alone. Yes, now. Come on, guys. Go on. Sit down. What is said that you want to tell me that cannot wait? What would you say, Mother? If I told you someone asked, I had in marriage. Is that what you want to tell me? <clears throat> dare say, you are a princess. Unfortunately, your father did not give birth to a male son. So when he passes on, you will have to sit on the throne of our fathers. I know. Nobody can ask for your hand in mine. It is only your father that can choose a husband for you and hand you over to him. I don't have a choice in this matter. Unfortunately, We're custodians of the culture and tradition of our land. All we do is obey the laws of the land. She said, I do not have a choice in the matter. He's my father who will choose for me a husband and hand me over to him. Don't worry, my love. You do not fault the Omongele until you get to it. Let us get there first. I know my father. He is a stickler for tradition. Now, if that is what tradition says, then, then we, we have a fight to fight.
I don't have a son to succeed me. And I never asked for one. I never asked for one. Otherwise, I would have taken another wife, since your mother couldn't give me one. I never asked for one because I thought you are everything any man would look for in a son. You were to sit on this throne. A daisy. The moment you became pregnant for that boy, you ceased to be my daughter. Tomorrow morning, you will be sacrificed to the gods at the shrine of Amadioha. The priest of Amadioha, the elders, your mother and I will be at the sacrifice. Your mother shall be there watching her daughter, her only child, slaughtered like a wild boar and the blood I gave you. The royal sacred blood spill on the ground and the liquid of life and appeasement for the death that you have caused. And my name blotted out from the face of the earth. A daisy, a daisy, save yourself, save yourself from your mouth, name the man who defiled you so that his life can be taken in place of yours. A daisy. You have the yam and you have the knife. A, a, a daisy. I, I, I want you to live. <laughs> My husband. I have served you as a wife from my youth. My heart, my body and my life. I have obeyed you in everything. I have been a good wife. I have not brought you shame. I am pleading on behalf of Adese. Please, she is all I have. She is all we have. You are indeed a good wife, and you've always made me proud. You see, what you have asked for is impossible. 
am not in a position to determine whether she lives or dies. It is in her hands and the hands of the gods. I am but a mere mortal. My husband. Who am I to, to determine what the gods will do? The gods did not give birth to Atese. No. You and I did. Why can't you just fight for her in front of the gods? Why can't you just fight for your daughter? Why can't you do that? Oh, oh dear wife. What is it? Is it sacrifice? The gods refused it. Is it appeasement? <laughs> that too they turned down. If they had asked for the head of a cow, however big, I'll give it to them. If they wanted seven human heads, I'll give it to them tonight. But they don't want that. What they want is the one who defiled the royals too. And the one who spilled the priestly blood. A daisy and her friend did. How can I stop the gods from taking their revenge? They did not know. They did not know what they were doing. They, they did not know what they were doing. They did not know. My dear, what I can do is to grant you access to see her. Talk to her. Talk to her. Try to make her see reason. The reason why she should name boy. Maybe by the time the sun rises from its slumber, she would have seen reason. And name the young man who defiled her. So that the gods can spare her life. Mother, how can you be so calm in the face of death? Mother, death holds no fear for me. My only fear is spending my life or my death without the man I love. That is why your father gave me access to you. To beg you to name the man that took your maiden head so that his life can be taken instead of yours. And what kind of a woman will that make me, mother? One who betrays, one she professes to love. You would rather die? That he may live, yes. For where he is, is where I'd rather be, mother. And if he were to die, I would die with him. What is it? What, you, what about your father and I? What have we done to deserve this? You have no blame in this, mother. This is my choice. You will not understand. Adese. Please. I beg you, in the name of everything that makes me a woman, in the name of this body that bore you, the womb that carried you, the breasts that you suckled, and then in those hands that nurtured you. Mention the name of this man and give me back the life that I gave. Please.
do you know? By money, your head will be hanging from the staff of Amadjoa. It doesn't matter where your head hangs when you die. Neither does it matter how you died. What matters is why. And in time to come, they will sing my name in this land. <laughs> sing your name? In this land? Because you spread a girl's legs and put your manhood inside? Is not another girl. She is the princess of this land. A woman you will never, ever know anything about. Because the cruelty of people like you will deny this land the joy of knowing nobility like hers. Mouth off about her one more time, just once. And you will not be there to gloat when I die. My princess, your father and the elders wait. Leave us, please. Do you remember the day Uzoma asked me to marry him? Looking for you. Oh, do you worry too much? Did you see it? Did you see how beautiful the sunset was today? Oh, did you hear it? Did you hear the thunder purling deep down in the rainforest? Oh, would you, can you feel this? Feel the rain just on your skin. My princess, huh? are you all right? Do you have fever? No. <laughs> no. What is happening Come to you? On. Oh, your life is beautiful. What is making life so a beautiful thing all of a sudden? Can you believe it? She won't believe it. He asked me to marry him. He asked me to marry him. Who? <laughs> oh. Uzoma, of course. Shh. Don't let anybody hear this outside. Why? It is against our customs for a man to ask for your hand. A man is to be chosen for you when the time is right. Well? Let them keep waiting to choose a man for me. A daisy has chosen her husband already. <sighs> Look at what he gave me. <laughs> My God, it's a symbol of our love. Would you just, just look at this? Life is so beautiful. <sighs> Oh, 
Uju. It was the happiest day of my life. I can let go a thousand lifetimes for that day. You've been more than a sister to me. Please, don't cry when I'm gone. I have lived a fulfilled life. I don't want to see tears in your face when I go, but smiles, for I have no regrets. I'm going with the man I love so much. Remember this? Uzoma gave it to me. I want you to remember me with so much love. So much. strong. Maybe no one has told you the magnitude of what you face and what has been done to the land. This night, if the appeasement blood is not done, I'm not going to be buried. 
the gods in their anger will march through the land and take every first stone. If that appeasement is not done, half of this land will lie dead by morning. Have you thought about that? If that be all, it may be bearable, but no, it is not. The young man you mated with has been named as Mkwato's successor. He is the chief priest of the gods. He has taken the seed of the gods and implanted it in the womb of the kings. An abomination that has not been witnessed before anywhere. That which you carry in your womb will reign like a god. And because he is, he will be immortal. Since he was conceived in abomination, he will reign with a hand of evil and oppress this land and all around it and will never die. He cannot be allowed to come into this world. The only way we can prevent this is for you to open your mouth and call him as the father of your unborn child. At least that will stay the hands of the gods while we do the sacrifices of cleansing. If I name him, you will take him and kill him. Sacrifice him would have been a better word. But you said he's the chief priest to be. He is not yet. If you take him and you kill him, won't the wrath of the gods come upon you? Isn't that the same crime he committed by killing the chief priest? If we offer him as a sacrifice to the gods, their wrath will be abated. And they can tell us the next thing to do. Now, they are silent, and time we have no more. Mkwoto must be buried this night, and must be buried with the young man's head. My daughter, I come from my throne, and I come with me the dignity of the throne and lay it at your feet. I plead with you, not for my own life, which I know will come to an end tonight if the uh, sacrifices are not performed, but for the land I inherited from my forefathers, your forefathers, I plead for the lives of the people and the generations yet unborn. Adese, name the young man. Father, if I name him, will you kill me? No, 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 no. Your life will be spared. His sacrifice will be enough. And my child? Well, in due time, the gods will tell us what to do. Father, I have no intentions whatsoever to live without him. If he is to be killed, then I will kill myself too. Consider the child I'm carrying. The chief priest said he's a god and a king. One whom no mortal can touch his life, if it can be touched or taken. The gods brought this upon us. Let them solve it. As for Uzoma and I, we will die together. When the chief priest is ready, call me, your highness, as I am ready for the sacrifice. Father. Speak! You infernal gods! 
You stay silent and we die. Speak! Speak! One times a man that any of you could ever be. Touch him again and face death. will be here to catch you and hold you. If you ever need a shoulder when you're weary, I offer two. <sighs> the gods made you for me. I know it. I, I have no doubts about it. I know. I knew from the very day I set my eyes on you. But you would never have said anything. I'm a woman and a princess. It's not in my place to go looking for a man. The man should come looking for me. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. What is it you saw in this, this humble hunter? Tell me. Your courage. Your fearlessness. There's nothing more appealing than those two in a man. It takes an extraordinary breed to look at your princess and say the things you said to me that day. Now you tell me, apart from being the princess, what did you see in me? Beauty. I saw beauty like no man has ever seen before. Not just on the surface, but deep within. Possessing you is like finding my essence, finally. With you, I come home. I live and die in your arms. Me and yours, too. Report has just reached me that because of you, the princess has just killed one of my guards. Your Highness, if you love something, you will protect it. My daughter tells me that she cannot live without you. A great honor it is, Your Highness. One that I have not taken lightly. Mm. Now answer me this. What have you done to bewitch my daughter? 
But I can assure you that her uh, eyes will become clear the moment your head leaves your shoulder. Your Highness, may you live long. Abadi, my friend, used to tell me that one day my head will be taken from my shoulders because of the princess. Oh, how right he was. But he didn't live to see this day. His death will not be in vain. Your Highness, you can take my head from my shoulders, but you cannot. You cannot take the love I have for the princess from my heart. Even as my blood seeps into the earth, the same shall the love that we share cleanse the land. But your highness, we are tired of talking and wasting time. That's which the gods have deigned to do. Let them stop now. Because the darkness in their hearts, the light of our love, will dissipate. Your Highness, can we commence with the rituals? The sun has gone down. Darkness will soon be upon us. Ahead. Your Highness, please don't let them take me away. They are trying to prevent me from seeing you. It's all right. It's all right, my dear. It's all right. Um, what is it? My father has been killed. My brother is in your hands. I have no other person in this world. Your Highness. Please let him be. He's all I have got. Um, uh, well, who is your father? Uh, and, and who is your brother? My father is in Badike. The head warrior. Ah, and your brother is the young man who killed the chief priest. Your Highness. I commit her life into your hands. My dear, your lives are not in my hands. They are in the hands of the gods. Our custom and tradition says that you should be sacrificed to appease the gods for the evil deed of your brother in killing the chief priest. Take her away and prepare her for the sacrifices as well. You would have been the best Igwe our land would have had. The gods want you to make decisions that would have changed things. But the fear in your heart has denied you that opportunity. But your life it shall take. Before the day runs out, your life it shall take.
smile on your lips. Curiosity is bad for your bladder, you know. Thank the gods that some of us even have bladders. People like you have so theirs too. And Madio and knows who. Keep your secret to yourself. Who is even interested in hearing them? And who do you think is interested in telling a fat, a fule like you that I asked the princess to marry me? Uzoma, I pretend. Seriously, I pretend that I did not even hear one word that just came out from your mouth. Abadi. Osama. She accepted. It is not possible now. Two people cannot be running mad at the same time. If lunacy has affected your head, I believe that sickness will not affect the princess too. It is either you are lying or that the princess is using you to play in Chorokoto. Abadi, can you just get serious for once? Huh? Does it look to you like I'm playing games here? Hello? Listen, I asked the princess to marry me. Mm. And she accepted. Abadi, she accepted. Hi. She has just she has just brought a song to my heart and a dance to my feet. Ah! Abadi, you should be happy for me now. You know this? This is what I've been waiting for. Abadi. Abadi, what's wrong? Uzama. Seriously, Uzama, I fear for you. I fear for your life, Uzama. Huh? I would like to see the day you will carry wine to the Ezer. To tell him that you want to marry his daughter. Exactly. Zoma, have you ever seen that kind of thing before? You should go and offer sacrifices to the gods. So that your foolishness will not come to light. Father, I've been thinking. Thinking about what? About getting married. I think I'm ready. Uh, that's good, my son. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You know, I, uh, I decided to tell you so we can start making preparations. Um, we cannot start making preparations except we build a hut. Uh, uh, fine, <laughs> fine. I can start tomorrow, and I'm sure in two weeks I'll be done. Sure. <laughs> uh, who is this young lady that is inspiring you to such speed? <laughs> <sighs> She's Adesia, the princess, the Ezra's daughter. I have no wish to talk about it. Then what occupies your mind must be very serious indeed. My little sister, you will not understand. Maybe you should talk to me first and see if I will. Mm. A woman. A woman has taken my heart. 
and she is the most beautiful thing I have ever set my eyes or my hands on. Mm -hmm. Anyone who has our heart, at the time it is taken, is the most beautiful creature there is. <laughs> but it is a good thing. Are you bringing her home? Of course. Of course, but Papa will not hear it. Why? What did he say? He didn't say anything. He just laughed at me and just walked away. Who is this princess that has turned my brother's face into a rock? And my heart into a flowing river. She's indeed a princess. <laughs> the princess. Adeze. The Eze's daughter. And where are you going? If madness is pursuing you, run like the wind. Don't mind him. His mind is still preoccupied. When he realizes that his quest for the princess is but in vain, he will look at you. I can't wait. I know my brother. Yeah, you didn't even look at her. Who? Oh? Abonye, my friend. Uzoma. Uzoma. She's a good girl. She likes you. She's beautiful. And strong. She will bear you strong sons. Uzoma. She will make you a very good wife. Nene, mm. you are wasting your time. In my heart, I have a wife. Well, think about it, does not matter to me. I feel it. I feel it in my bones that one day, Adese will be my wife. And that's all that matters to me. As you lie, we know that you are only but a breath away. We have come to avenge the wrong that has been visited on you. 
but we can't do it on our own. The gods must be consulted. We ask for permission to consult them in your shrine. Do we go in or do we stay out? whatsoever to live without you. If you are to be killed, then I want to be killed. For where you are is where I'd rather be. I'm not crying because I'm afraid. I'm crying because there's so many beautiful moments we haven't shared together. <laughs> remember, remember when I told you I was Having your seed, remember. <laughs> My love. <laughs> and what is this thing that makes you smile so? I have something to tell you. You have something to tell? Mm hmm Okay. Go ahead. I will soon be a mother. Wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? I haven't seen my monthly flow since the last moon. Your seed is growing in me. the happiest man in the world. <laughs> oh, I love you. You know what that means. That means my father will finally allow me marry you. It means the whole world will rise up against us now. It means like we know, it has come to an end. No. It means we are starting a new life. Where we no longer have to hide. We no longer have to meet in hidden places. I can now lie in your arms all day. still remains the best day of my life. Yes. Knowing that my child was growing inside you, it just, it just lifted me from the face of the earth and placed me in the realm of the gods. Do you... Do you think that we'll see our child in the afterlife? Yes. yes. 
and you will be the most beautiful child ever born to man. You will be a god. Oh, my love, it bothers me. Why does the world hate something so beautiful this much? Because the world hates beauty and detests love. Adese, what bothers you? Mother, I want to tell you something. Speak, my daughter. I'd like to hear. It's news I hope will gladden your heart. Good. Can we hear it? I once told you, mother, someone asked my hand in marriage. You asked me, what if someone asked for your hand in marriage? And I told you that it is only your father that can give you away. You are a princess, the heir to be. Well, perhaps now mother, father will change his mind and allow him ask my hand. No, Adese. Your father can never change his mind. He's the Eze. He's the custodian of our culture, custom and tradition. Mother, I am carrying the seed of the man who asked my hand. Did you just say? I'm carrying his seat, mother. Mother. Mother! 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 God! God! Mother! Do you know what you have done? Are you aware that you are on the verge of destroying this family? this kingdom, and your life. Father, if what I have done is so wrong, why does it feel so right? Adesi, what evil has entered your mind? Have you forgotten who you are? Have you forgotten that you are to sit on this throne after me? Have you forgotten about our traditions? Have you forgotten what the gods will do to anyone who desecrates the, the sacred tool of our fathers? Daisy. They will remove your head from your shoulder. Who is this boy who has taken your maiden head? Tell me, a daisy. Tell me so that the gods can take his head in place of yours. Did you hear what I said? Or have you suddenly gone deaf? You will kill him, father. There is no other option for what you have done. You will kill him? You want to kill him for loving your child? Your only daughter? Oh, oh. What evil spirit has entered into your mind? Is it Abubu you have between your ears? You certainly will kill him, father. And you expect me to tell you who he is? Adese. If he is not killed, the laws of the land says you will be killed. Father, 
I have always thought that you are everything that is kind and noble. An embodiment of good. Is this what you have become? Is this? On my life, I will not name him. Kill me if you want to. Father. Adese. Adese! Go to your daughter. Make her see reason. Tell her the entire kingdom is in danger for what she has done. agree that you shouldn't be with child before becoming my wife. But that you and I should be killed when you're not the one sitting on the sacred stool is madness. I mean a total madness to me. I have no wish whatsoever to sit on the throne. I do not want to be easy. All I want is to be with you every day of my life. My dear, your father has no child and you are destined to be on the throne. But my dear, whether you're in the palace or in the dungeon, I don't care. I will be there with you. So don't worry too much about it. As for your father, I know he will not allow anything to happen to you. Because if you don't sit on the throne, who will? And you? What will happen to you? Well, as long as you don't name me, we will be fine. That is the last thing I'll do. Name you. Elders, I greet you all. You are elders. Yes. Yes. Hmm. We have a saying that if you see the rabbit doing the atilogu, then its dramas must be in the forest nearby. And this same rabbit will not hop around under the sun unless something is after it. Mm, yes. <laughs> <coughs> I summoned this gathering because a strange thing has entered the hole of the rabbit. My daughter, the princess, is with child. Your Highness. You did not say what you just said now. She is here. Ask her. She can tell you herself. Uh, princess, has His Highness spoken the truth? My father, does His Highness tell the truth? So, you are with child? Proudly so. Mm. 
our ears cannot hear this abomination. <coughs> Are you willing to tell us the young man who has done this to you? No man did anything to me. I gave myself to him willingly. Whatever has happened, we did together. I shall not now name him that he be killed and my life be spared. If there be any punishment, let me face it alone. I foresee evil from the gods. She will be brought bound to the shrine of Amadioha. And she'll be kept there until she names the young man that is responsible. And this is the only way to avoid the evil that I foresee coming upon this land. Princess, are you ready to name the man responsible for your pregnancy? You bind my hands, you bind my legs, but you cannot bind my heart. Your ropes cannot make me speak. If you must kill me, do what you must, High Priest. Fadezi will not speak. The ghosts have afflicted you with madness. May they have mercy on you. It is not madness, though, priest. It is love. A word too difficult for you to understand. I love you so much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yes, I did. Um, is there any problem? What is wrong? You're my stepsister will stop me from taking what I want from you. Come on, shut up. Come on, shut up. Listen, I'm the prince of this land. And you what to be. Whatever I want, I take. You know what you do? You are a fool, idiot. My prince, she's no more breathing. She's dead. She's not breathing. She's dead. What do we do now? She's not breathing. Let's take her to my father's shrine. I'm burying her behind my father's shrine. So nobody will see her body. Uh -huh. Please, let's take her to that place. Please, fast, fast. My goodness. May the gods of our land keep you safe and sound as you journey through this earth. They will provide for you and keep you in good health. May you find love where others find pain. And may you find fulfillment where others find frustration. Easy. Your steps will be firm and steady.
What are you waiting for? Your Highness, I need your permission before I climb into the Yezus bed. You... You are the mouthpiece of the gods. No one can tell you what to do or what not to do. But if it will help, I command you, come here and hold me right now. I defile the gods that I now serve just to hold you, to be with you, my love, even at the risk of death. And now that I speak for them, not even them can stop me. They don't intend to stop you, my priest. Come here, my love. This is not the easy speaking. This the woman who gave you heart. Come and make me a woman all over again. I 